Paxton Honeycutt would bring his entourage. Amen. just woke up. Say, what's going on? Yeah. child though say hey chick <laughs> you take after your daddy Okay. Jesus' arms were always open, especially to the children. The Bible records a time on the beach, and I can almost picture it in my mind. When Jesus was sitting on the beach and the kids just flocked around him, and they were crawling all over him, probably had their hands in his hair, pulling at him. I believe he just loved it. The disciples got a little upset, and they scolded the moms. They said, no, no, get, get these kids out of here. And Jesus stopped them and said, no, 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 no. Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. So this morning, this precious mom and dad bring Paxton Grant Honeycutt to be dedicated unto the Lord. Much like Hannah of old, who desired a child so desperately, and she leaned against the pillars in the temple and prayed so desperate was she that the priest thought that she was drunk because she was in such desire and God granted her desire and she said Lord if you'll grant this desire when he comes of age I'll give him back to you she brought him to the temple whenever he was weaned and gave him back and said, here, Lord, we dedicated him to you. So these parents have brought this child. It's not an easy, simple thing because it, it has some responsibilities in it. There's charges and responsibilities to the parents, grandparents, extended family. There's charges and responsibility to our church. And there's charges and responsibilities to God. So the presenting of a child in dedication is a very serious matter to this church and to God. The first charge is to the parents, the grandparents. That first responsibility is yours. Before God, to whom you bring this child, I charge you that you will live an exemplary life before this child, that he might know what it is to be a Christian. 
that you make your home a school where you will receive Christian instruction, that you will see that he's taken to church for additional instruction, and that you will pray for his salvation as he reaches the age of accountability, that you will endeavor to lead him to Christ. If you're willing to accept this charge, would you say, with God's help, we will. With God's help, we will. Would you stand with me, please? The congregation who receives a child, they receive some responsibilities also. So I charge you that are members of this congregation that you will do all that you can to provide and support a place of worship and instruction in this community where this child, should he or continue in this community, have a place where he can come to hear the full gospel and the full counsel of God's word. That you will all covenant together to set an example by your lives that he will aspire to be like you and become a Christian. That you, as God shall remind you, will pray for his salvation. All of those that are willing, would you say, with God's help, we will. With God's help, we will. The third responsibility is God's. And God has promised, and I speak on authority of his word, that when he reaches the age of accountability, that the Holy Spirit will convict him of sin and draw him to God. God says that he will make the love of Christ known to his heart and his life. God has already said that he would bless and guide his children throughout all of their lives. So as he walks with God, God's hand will ever be upon him. Would you just bow your heads with us, please? Father, I lay hands on this precious child, on this mom, on this dad on this brother. And I ask God as we dedicate this child that your hand would also be upon them. Your hand of blessing, your hand of guidance, your hand of wisdom. Lord, all the days of his life, bless Praxton. Guide him. Direct him. God, use him for your glory. In Jesus' awesome name, we bask it and we call it done. And we thank you for it. Amen. Amen. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You're looking at this, aren't you? Yeah. As pastor of First Assembly, oh, you can be seated. Or you can stand up. In, in this church, it doesn't matter. We take great delight in giving him his first little Bible, one that he can carry around, and, of course, the certificates. It's with great honor. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for your support. Give him a hand. Would you do that? Love you. You can go be seated. You can go sit down now, buddy. <laughs>